get excited because we are making the most healthy, delicious carrot cake that you'll ever have, guaranteed. You won't believe that it's gluten-free and sugar-free because it is so fluffy and delicious. This is gonna be one that you'll make for many years to come, so make sure you keep watching if you wanna know how to make it. So here are the ingredients you'll need for this healthy carrot cake. So I've got some almond flour here. I love the fine texture of almond flour, but you can also use almond meal, which has the skin on. It'll just have a bit more of a rustic texture. Some desiccated coconut or shredded coconut, some sweetener, and I'm using a stevia baking blend to keep it sugar-free. But if you don't want it that way, you can also use coconut sugar, which will also have a really beautiful caramelly taste. Some spices, so I'm using cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, ginger dash of pink Himalayan salt, baking soda and baking powder, and some optional mix-ins. So I'm using some chopped dates, but normally I would use sultanas, but this is what I have on hand and I've chopped them into kind of a sultana size as well. And some nuts of choice. So you can use pecans, walnuts, they're more traditional, but I'm using what I have on hand, which is some macadamias and pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to roast them at 175 for about eight minutes until they're nice and golden and have that beautiful roasted flavor. So for the wet ingredients, obviously some carrot that is the star of this recipe and it's super good for you. And we're using over two cups of vegetables here, which is amazing, five eggs, and some olive oil. You can use whatever oil that you like, but I love the health benefits of olive oil. They're packed full of good fats. And some vanilla essence or vanilla paste or vanilla powder, whatever you prefer. I'm using vanilla paste today. So this is all you'll need for our healthy carrot cake. Let's get started. So friends, in a large bowl, we are going to add our three cups of almond flour all the dry ingredients essentially. Our sweetener, as mentioned, I am using the stevia baking blend, but you can use coconut sugar, normal sugar, if you don't care about it being sugar-free, but I guarantee it still tastes amazing. Some shredded coconut, and I always make sure that I get preservative-free and unsweetened. In the bowl you go dry mix-ins. So I am grabbing our roasted nuts, Throwing that in there. Now for our spices. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I love the antibacterial properties of cinnamon and it tastes amazing. It's great for pairing with carbs because it does help regulate your blood sugar. A teaspoon of dried ginger. Again, ginger is full of antibacterial properties. Super good for you. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg in the bowl and a little pinch of cloves use too much because that can be pretty overpowering but enough will be incredibly delicious a little pinch of salt to add it all together I use pink Himalayan salt but you can use whatever you like and now for our baking agents so we've got one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda and that is gonna make our beautiful cake rise even though we're using a heavy flour like almond meal it's still gonna make it rise perfectly and then I'm gonna just stir that all through. Stir, stir, stir. It's already smelling so good. The spices and the almond meal are just like the perfect complementary mixture. My almond meal is pretty fresh, so that is why I didn't use a sieve, but if you've got packeted almond meal pre-mixed, which most of you would because it does save a lot of time, make sure that you use a sieve because that's just gonna make it all combine super evenly and have it the butter nice and smooth. So now we're going to add in our wet ingredients and I don't like to use multiple bowls for this so I like to dig a well into the bowl and that's where I'll add all the wet ingredients. So we've got five eggs. Now it seems like a lot but don't forget that I've doubled this recipe so that I can make a really pretty double layer cake but feel free to halve it if you only want a couple of servings. It is just a no fuss, easy, delicious recipe. And I'm gonna show you how it is that way. So into the bowl we go. We've got some olive oil. I'm not using too much for the whole recipe. It's just to really make it keep it nice and moist. So add that in. 
Yum. So now we're going to add our vanilla paste and I'm kind of running out, so I'm just gonna squeeze it as hard as possible. Really want that beautiful vanilla flavor. Yum. And then our shredded carrot and look at all of that goodness going in there. This is gonna be amazing. I am so excited. So now we just stir in the wet ingredients in that hole, make sure they're all combined evenly and thoroughly. And now that that wet mixture is all combined, I'm going to go ahead and fold in the dry ingredients. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's coming together so quickly. I didn't mean to throw all of that outside of the bowl. Oh my god. We want to combine it evenly, but we also don't want to mix it because that can make the cake super tough. So just until it's combined and you don't see any more stray dry ingredients lying about, it's starting to come together quite quickly. And that beautiful almond meal is soaking up all of that wet goodness. It's getting there. <laughs> Don't forget, it's two servings. This is totally optional, but I love it. But you can add sultanas or the chopped dates. And as mentioned, I didn't have sultanas, so I am using the dates, but that's gonna add a really lovely caramelly flavor. Yes, it is looking amazing. Make sure your oven is also preheated to 175 degrees Celsius. Two greased pans here. And I'm going to divide this batter in half and add it into our pan. making sure to scoop up like every little morsel because I don't want to waste any of this healthy delicious goodness yes okay then I'm just gonna pat it down into the pan it is quite a firm batter so making sure to do this quite So while we wait for our beautiful carrot cake to cook, I'm gonna show you this beautiful cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna show you a healthy hack to lighten it up. You can use Greek yogurt, so it'll make it higher in protein, less calories, less fat, but still beautiful and creamy, and some added good bacteria as well to the frosting. Totally optional, of course, but I'm gonna use it since my cake is two tiers. I really want it to have that beautiful frosting on top. So I'm gonna add one whole container of cream cheese and again this is for two cakes so do feel free to have the frosting recipe so one container is about 250 grams so I'm gonna scoop that all out I'm also using a low-fat cream cheese because I honestly don't know the difference between full fat and low fat it tastes the same but one has significantly less calories so there is another healthy hack for you guys add in some icing sugar now I am just using the stevia baking blend but I've powdered it in a blender prior to this so that will make it super super smooth and then in there we go. adding in our vanilla paste again and I'm basically out of this tube but another little hack food waste hack is that you can just cut open the bottle and you'll find so much more paste stuck in there that you couldn't squeeze out before so we don't want to waste anything it's always about using up all the things that we have on hand before we go out and purchase more and then I'm gonna add some yogurt to lighten it all up Again, totally optional, but I do like to add some lemon juice and lemon zest to it because I reckon it's just such a nice zesty flavor that it adds to your carrot cake, really brightens it up. And it's also super good for you, high in vitamin C. So I've got my lemon juicer. In some lemon zest. 
process. And then I'm going to blend that all up until it's nice, smooth and creamy. So when that's all smooth and creamy, make sure you taste test it and adjust for anything else you want to add to it. I really like the taste of that. It's enough perfect lemoniness flavor for me. So I'm gonna set that aside, put that in the fridge whilst we wait for our carrot cake to cook and cool down so we can frost it. So our carrot cake has cooled and it's so golden brown and perfect. So all I'm going to do is run a bread knife just around the edges so I can remove it from the cake pan with our cream cheese frosting. Just gonna dump it on top like that. Perfect. And then I'm gonna put this on top. And then once I put that layer on top, I'm just gonna drizzle the rest of the cream cheese on top. I'm gonna go around the edges and just go up like that. Kind of like a rustic effect. And now to decorate, I'm going to chop some pecans and just sprinkle that on top. But I like to just roughly chop it just for like a little bit of rustic texture. And then I'm just gonna go all around the edges. And now I've got these little cute carrot decorations. So I've just peeled a carrot with a normal like apple peeler. And then I've rolled it into like these cute carrot flowers. So I'm just gonna top it with that. And then also some mint leaves. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this recipe at home. I guarantee your friends and family are gonna love it and they're not gonna realize that it's packed full of vegetables. Make sure you also hit that like button below and also leave me a comment because I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're gonna try this recipe and it's on your to-do list, I'd love to hear. And also do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again, bye. Here we go.